Hello everyone. Head into Shiva's Icebound Katana level 4, so the hard version. Going to go for all missions with a fairly cheap team. Our missions are no items, ice category only, including companion, and 5 total turns. I'm not going to take in a friend, and this is the team I got. So at first we have Supreme Diva Axstar. He's going to act as a finisher for us. I got the Clash clothing on him for chain cap. And then we got him built just for attacking killers. So we got 300 human killer for him there. He does have 300 limit damage. We might have to use that turn 5. We'll see. And then we have Elena to be leader and magic tank. So in the base, we got Ice Resist. Decent amount of spirit health. She's the leader and the provoker. So Materia for 100% draw attacks. Give her a Blizzard Orb, but probably won't matter. And then in the shift, fairly cheap build still, and LB focus. Still 100% uh, draw attacks with the Materia. So we got 300 human and limit damage in the shift for her. Also, still decent amount of ice resist. Then we have regular Elena, who's going to give us our human killer buff and some stat buffs. So in the base, a little bit of attack, a little bit of magic, some human killer. She's got 300 human killer. I didn't give her the chain cap because she doesn't do much damage anyway. Uh, in the shift, just her sword. She's going to buff in the shift for us. And then we have Medina just to be a quad uh, chainer. So do wheel just because it's easier with cheap gear. And magic and some killers. So we do have 175 on her human killer. And then we got Fravia to break and chain. So in the base, we have some magic and killers. 300 human killer there. In the shift, didn't really gear her. She's just going to break in the shift for us. All right, let's jump in. Elena can go first. So we're going to Barbliz for mitigation and ice resist. Ice and Bew the party. And then we'll do her sanctuary just because of the human physical mitigation. So regular Elena this turn. We're going to Blossom. And then we can Refraction and Salvation is fine. Axstar is going to do his limit for modifier. Fravia. We're going to Magnus for the breaks. And guard to boost. And flick for sword and peril. And Medina. We'll just triple on Chaos Wave, Waken Ice. And Catastrophe, because whatever. So not really chaining, just kind of setting up at the moment. X star turn two, we're going to start unlocking. So we're going to do Carnage, Skull, and Battle Stance. Elena can do Base Limit for Modifier. Other Elena, we're going to Shift. And we're going to Radiant Shield for Stop Resist. And then we'll just do some stat buffs with Azure. Let's see, Medina. We'll just quad on our Ice Chaos Wave Awakened. Fravia can go to the base. So we're going to do her Ice Field for the better Ice uh, Boost. And then we can just triple on her Chaos Wave Awakened. Alright, X star this turn. 
We'll quadcast and we'll finish getting some modifiers with True Mirror, which will add another 25 to his physical. Radiance can shift and we'll prep for her limit. So we're going to Grace for the modifier, her 150, which also refills her limit, and then we can just uh, Bolting. Regular Elena is going to do her shifted limit burst for the killer. Medina, we can just quad on Chaos Wave Awaken. And Fravia can do the same. All right, she override our field, but it shouldn't really matter. We're just going to go for damage. So back to Quad Chaos Wave Awakens. Axstar, we're now going to use his unlock move four times. Radiance, shifted limit burst. And regular Elena is going to shift back to the base and just triple bolting to be a chaining partner. So we'll hit the back two first, let's chain build a little bit, then hit Axstar, and then the Elena's. And we got it turn four. So we didn't have to use Axstar as a super on turn five to finish her off. Take a look at damage, and Axstar did pretty decent, actually. Elena still had most of it there. Fravia was okay, too. And Medina actually did more than I expected for using just a spell. She was there just to quadcast, honestly. But we did get all missions, and that was a fairly cheap team with the friend slot open. So we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.